guys to stay work and develop my game. Got the opportunity to play uh, a few times with the U.S. here. Uh, they've been a good experiences, so uh, happy to be back and be playing in front of my family. Uh, Josie's absence, obviously, is going to be felt back from that last year. He's quite a bit of the load for you guys. Well, I just try to go out there and play my game, kind of do what I've been doing, try to try to get goals for the team, create chances, and I feel like uh, you know my record has shown that. Then as we get closer to the tournament, just you know, talk about how important is this Ecuador Bolivia game's very similar response to Colombia Paraguay in your face. Yeah, it's important that uh, we get in the rhythm, uh, that we get you know, make sure everybody's sharp on the same page. Um, hope we keep everybody fit and be able to take. Uh, the strongest team uh, to that to that first game, and, and hopefully uh, hit the ground running um, and come San Francisco. Leadership and experience for you has got to be important with some of the young guys on this team. Yeah, we got a lot of leaders on the team. Uh, everybody kind of leads in, in, in different ways, and uh, yeah, I mean, um, I'll try to lead by example. Clint, you're, sorry, Clint, you can just talked about the, how good this yeah. tournament is and compared to what the Euro said it stacks up just as well. You played against all sorts of teams in your career. How do you see the competition ahead of this Copa? Oh, it's going to be great. I mean, it's a tournament that I, you know, watched as, as a kid. I've never gotten the opportunity to play in, so to be able to play in the tournament uh, is exciting and, um, you know, opportunity to play a major competition on a home soil. And, um, you know, we were looking to, to, to do well. Like I said, when I was growing up, I, I, I watched a, a lot of South American uh, um, soccer. So uh, looking forward to, to playing against those, those teams as, as, as well as the, the teams in uh, CONCACAF. You sort of had to fill in for Josie in the World Cup Series ago when you went down. Um, maybe a little different situation now that Bobby Woods there. And is that, how much is that going to help you having a, a guy that maybe is closer to the Josie Cup um, Yeah, I mean, we miss Josie. Uh, he's, he's a strong player, good hold up play, um, can run behind the lines. Uh, of important goals. Um, yeah, like you mentioned in the World Cup, uh, it was after he went down, kind of played more of a target role, which is not necessarily my, my main strength. I like to be like the withdrawn forward, get on the, the half turn and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like you mentioned, uh, you know, I played some games with Bobby. Uh, we got a good good rhythm um, and I uh, thought we did well against the quarter To have this tournament on home soil, like you said, big opportunity. Any extra added pressure? Is it just another tournament? No, I mean, we got to get back to, to, to doing well um, uh, as, a, as, a, as a country. And what better opportunity than to play a major competition on home soil and, and make sure you use that uh, that energy uh, to your advantage. And uh, we'll be looking to do that. Jurgen makes a decision and announced what like he did with the keeper from spot. From your point of view, how significant is that? Um, I mean, it's, that's, that's, that's the coach's job to make tough decisions and pick what he thinks is going to be best for the team. Um, we all have to pull together and, 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 and try to, you know, uh, to, to, to win games and, and, and to make sure that we're successful. So uh, uh, we, have to, we have to fight for each other. Is there any difference between those guys in the net? Tim, Brad, Jurgen said it's basically a 50-50 decision. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a tough call to make. Um, you know, but that's not my job to make those decisions. You can talk to people about that. But uh, both of those keepers are great, and then they, they, they've shown that uh, you know, how well they play uh, in, in Europe. And, did you ever play here at SMU at any point, camps or anything like that? I, I did. I almost, almost went to SMU. It was one of the colleges that I was looking at. That's when Chellis uh, was, the, was, the, was the coach. Um, it was kind of between SMU and uh, Notre Dame and, and Furman for me. And uh, it, was, it was kind of one of those things that I spent a lot of my time in Dallas. And um, I kind of wanted to go, you know, to get out of the comfort zone and, and, and leave the state and, and see what that would be like. Um, but uh, yeah, I do think about what it'd have been like to, to have gone here. I know some of my uh, teammates, uh, Zach like Charles, really went here, and some other guys I played with classically um, that, that that went to this school and they had a good time. Thanks, everybody. All right, so thank you.